What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day so far. It is week number three of the Sparkman Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Tournament. And so far, we are one and one. And this week, we are facing off against Jerballer. Unlike the previous two weeks where I was commentating during the match itself uh, while I was making my plays and everything, this week, because I was dueling on EDO Pro, I thought I would save the replays and then go over it afterwards. Um, it was basically that and also the fact that the commentating that I did for this match was terrible and I did not want to have you guys sit through that. So let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video though because if you guys do any type of EDO Pro duels I do, I can you know save the replays and go over it like this in the future. So definitely let me know in the comments down below. Now getting into it, this was the deck that I brought to week number three. Now. This deck here was not the one that I was supposed to bring. Uh, I was supposed to add the Molcharmi Pirelias to the deck. And for some reason, my deck never saved. So, yeah, this was not the deck that I brought that I wanted to bring to this week's duel. But it ended up happening anyway. So, yeah. So, you'll see next, you know, week number four, it, it's fixed. You'll see the deck that I was supposed to try to bring. Uh, but yeah, so this was the deck that uh, we brought. Now, the major thing was uh, I added Power Filter to the side deck instead of, and took out the Heat Waves. Uh, heat Waves were great for me in, you know, in real life. Uh, for this type of event, I felt like it may be hit or miss. So I wanted to try this in case any of my opponents were playing Ubel or, uh, you know, Snake Eyes. <laughs> I thought that, you know this would be you know, really cool to you know add, um, so yeah I wanted to try this. So uh, basically everything else is kind of standard I would say uh, that you'll see in you know most Tempai decks now. Like I said, we are playing Jabaler this week, and he came in swinging with a deck that I was not expecting. I knew how to play against it, but yeah, you you guys will see during the replay how difficult this matchup was. Uh, he brought the deck Scarecall. Now, Scarecall, if you guys know, their boss monster basically switches all monsters to defense mode and is unaffected by effects monsters in defense mode. So you'll kind of see here, I made quite a bit of mistakes and I'll kind of go over that. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the duels and go over exactly how the match went. All right, getting into game one, I don't know who won the Rock, Paper, Scissors, but uh, regardless, Jabalard uh, starts this round. So he starts off by summoning Acro. Uh, then he goes into Lightheart, activate Lightheart's effect to basically get Ractophobia. He'll activate Ractophobia to basically get Beast of Starfrost. And then we'll use Starfrost's effect to special summon it. Um, and then he attempts to activate Lightheart's effect here. To special summon it uh, because it's once per duel I decided to activate Magnumoot here which at the time I thought was a good idea but in reality it probably wasn't the best idea because I basically turned off lightning storm at this point but so, yeah in hindsight I should have just let this play go through and play out and then on my turn use lightning storm to clear any attack position monsters uh, because I knew the monster that he was trying to go into was Tryheart. And because, you know, obviously you can't put Lynx in defense, I could have used Lightning Storm to clear it. Uh, because Tryheart has an effect where it is unaffected by defense position monsters. So, regardless, I summon Magnemoot and then I use his effect to add at the end phase here. Uh, he does use Triple Attack. I do Ash here as well. Um, thinking that, you know, maybe this, you know, be the end of his play. Was totally wrong. So... Uh, he goes into another light heart since it's not a once per turn to add the field spell. Goes into right heart, uh, chain scarecrow, cast Shira. And then from here he gets a rival, draws a card, and then he goes into try heart. Um, from here he'll activate try heart's effect to get the loan to the field. And then he'll use the other effect to, of try heart to add a scarecrow to his hand. Um, and then from here he'll activate a rival to get right heart back. And then once again he'll do it again. You get Triheart, summon Bur uh, Burlone, and add another right card. So uh, at the end of the turn, I activate uh, Magnemoot uh, to add Genroku. 
I kind of wasn't thinking here, to be honest with you, because uh, knowing this, because like I was thinking, oh, go into Transcendian Dragon. I can do this. Yeah. Um, how am I supposed to do anything when I can't attack? So, yeah, I um, probably should just went into Padra there instead of just activating, you know, getting Roku here. But I go into Padra nonetheless to get Sengen Summoning. I set it to the field just as a draw. Um, and then I go into Q-Bell. Now, this is where I misplayed big time because this basically, I think, cost me the game. Because that basically, I activate Q-Bell's effect to try to pop Tryheart. And obviously, like I said, Tryheart's unaffected by the activated effects of defense position monsters. So, yeah, I uh, didn't read. And, yeah, that you'll see it cost me. So, I activate Sang and Summoning, just get rid of Lightning Storm. And then went into uh, Heretic Seals. Because there's really nothing else to do. So, um, so he summons right card, activates effect against Straddle. I didn't really read Straddle. Um, I know now it was in the gate effect, but at the time I didn't realize that, um, as you'll see in a minute. So, I uh, set Kaho thinking like maybe I can just you know end it, but I had to wait a whole turn. So he goes into Nightmare Phoenix to pop it. Um, uses Tryheart. I effect Baylor, but then that's where he straddles. So, uh, so he'll just kind of pop off here, and then he'll just go into Cashier Birth, use Birth's effect, get Scarecrow Cashier from here. Fadra protects me, but he still, you know, can summon, you know, damage me. So, because um, Fadra's effect is negated. So I go into Odd Eyes first. I don't know why I did this, but uh, basically it kind of cost me the game here. So I uh, use Chandra's effect again to go into Black Rose to pop the field and from here you guys will see I draw a shifter and that was basically game so so going into game two I decided to go second once again and you know my thinking was if I can draw a shifter I can prevent him from you know special summoning from the graveyard and maybe keep him off his place uh, that yeah that was a big mistake thinking that because um, yeah I shouldn't be relying on shifter uh, it, it came through last you know week two every single game but um yeah this is uh it's basically the rng catching up to where i don't open it so basically my opponent will start off with balone go into lightheart use lightheart's effect to get the field spell activate the field spell to get a uh astra use scarecrow cast Shira to you know banish then use right card to get defanging and draw one uh because he has three defense position monsters goes into try hard and you know adds i think astra again and then he just sets call by now the thing was you'll see in a minute call by uh really screwed me so i use singing summoning to get chandra i summon fadra and i special summon chandra i use black rose uh he used call by to banish chandra and then you know thinking everything was okay i use Rageki. then go to common special summon uh chandra use chandra's effect oh wait called by I, I i messed up once again so i only attacked for 15 and then i passed my turn uh basically he activates the second field spell goes into balloon goes into lightheart uh use astra use uh beast of starfrost then uses lightheart's effect right heart uh basically draw two there uh gets a rival and then basically just fills his board uh, i do use imperm here but um I realize he could just go into another tryheart and basically you know do it all over again so i basically ended the replay because there was really nothing else that i could possibly do in this uh, spot here so yeah uh we lost week three so with that loss we are now one and two early on in this tournament and towards the bottom of the standings but it is okay because we do still have five weeks left to turn this around and I know that we can get out of this hole, but yeah, I mean, Jaballer played an excellent game. He had, you know, like he had Parallel Exceed. It, he didn't get a chance to special summon this. If he did, I, I don't know what other place he could have done. So hats off to you, Jaballer. You played an excellent game and your Scareclaw deck is definitely scary. Good luck to you, my friend, in the rest of the tournament. But that'll wrap it up for week number three. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you guys do like this type of comment uh, commentary, of you know me just going over the replays 
definitely let me know in the comments and I will try to do this more often when I am doing uh, EDO Pro Duels. Uh, I don't think I can do it with Duelist Nexus. I don't think I can save the replays. If you, if I can, let me know and I can try to start saving them. But I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And until next time, I shall see you guys in our next TCG video. See ya.